So our process is uh, is agnostic to the different types of captain materials. So you can combine nickel, manganese, and cobalt with in different proportions, and it makes a different type of lithium-ion battery. You can use lithium, iron, phosphate. We have a material that has no cobalt in it at all, and that gets rid of a whole cobalt supply chain risk. And uh, you can see from the materials here, they come out in different colors. This is before we put it in the furnace. There's, uh, and, and, and the colors are really a reflection of the concentration of materials that are in each one of these. Each one of them has different properties. As with the cobalt one, it lowers the supply chain risk. It's a, it's a high voltage material, it's long lasting. Lithium iron phosphate is very low cost and long lasting. NMC, or the one with, with a little bit of cobalt and a lot of nickel in it, uh, that's a very high energy density material, but it comes at the cost of stability and, and the cobalt risk. So every one of them has their pros and cons, and every one has different applications and different lithium ion battery type applications. So whether it be your phone or a power drill or a car or a grid storage or the or the, or the stuff that's gonna store energy from your from your solar cells at your at your cabin, all of them have different applications and have different chemical needs.